game today. Um, you know, it started in the first, had a big inning, uh, put together, uh, you know, several really, really good at bats there. Uh, first time through the order, uh, scored four runs, a couple two out hits uh, by Wharton and Wilkie. Um, you know, then in the sixth, you know, Seth hit a home run. Then with two outs, uh, we drew a walk, then a single, then Wharton hit a ball hard to shortstop. Wilkie, another big two out, a single RBI. We scored three runs, had another big inning there in the sixth. Now, Wilkie offensively was really good for us today. Uh, and then in the eighth, we manufactured uh, some runs. Cromwell and Williams with walks, uh, T.O. with a nice sacrifice bunt, and then Wharton with two strikes. Uh, had a sack fly. Uh, Jolly had a nice day today, had three hits, scored a run, drove in a run. Um, and uh, Kyle Wilkie, along with Seth, who's been red hot here lately, putting really good swings on the baseball. Uh, we did not walk a batter uh, today. I thought both of our pitchers, Brooks and Ryan Miller, threw the ball exceptionally well. Uh, only made one error, so we played really clean baseball, made some nice defensive plays. And, uh, you know, overall, it was great to win the series here today, played a complete baseball game. Coach, how, how good was it for, to see Brooks kind of come back this week after last week, you know, had a little bit of control issues, I guess, when the wind also in Louisville? Well, you know, you could really see, you know, Brooks didn't walk a batter today. And, um, you know, outside of the home run that he gave up, ball was jumping a little bit to left field today, just made a – I actually thought it, it, it wasn't that bad of a pitch, uh, but it got up in the air and, and got out of the ballpark. But – uh, you know, you could see in the first inning uh, that Brooks um, was a little bit better in terms of his stuff. First three hitters of the ball game that he faced, he got first pitch strikes on. And that's the big difference for Brooks. When Brooks gets to strike one on first pitches, you're in trouble because he can execute pitches. And I thought that was a big key for him uh, there in the first inning. He's just kind of setting the tone that we're going to live in the strike zone today and force them to swing the bat. And he did a great job of that today. Speaking of setting the tone, uh, getting those four runs and picking up to get a couple walks and then be able to pick those guys up and bring them in. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, you know, luckily for us, uh, Metzdorf really settled in and threw the ball pretty well. You know, second time through the order, uh, he started ringing us up. He started mixing his pitches and throwing that slider a lot more, and we kept chasing it. And, you know, in the first inning, he was trying to establish his fastball and uh, was missing out his zone. We did a good job of staying disciplined and had a couple big two-out hits to put together that big inning. But then second time through the order, he started changing his pattern a little bit. We didn't do ourselves any favors. We were chasing a lot of pitches out of the strike zone down. Uh, you know, but luckily for us, uh, you know, we put together good at-bats first time through the order, and that was the, diff the difference for us against him. Coach, talk about late in the game, the situation with the umpire and the explanation that you got from them. I don't know why it took so long to determine what was wrong. Uh, which one? Which play? The play at first were – they came over to you, and then you went back over to them and, and took a little while. Was yeah, I mean, the there, was, there was a couple plays. And, uh, you know, we have the ability. Uh, we, we thought he was safe at first base. We, it was bang, bang. And, and we get two challenges through the first seven innings of the game. Okay, so, you know, I wanted to challenge that play because I felt like Wilkie was safe. Yeah. They caught him out, um, and they did the right thing. They, they went inside. They took a look at it. And, uh, you know, the whole idea behind the, the, the replay is to get the call right. And, and glad they got together and looked at it and got the call right. And then the other play was just I thought when I heard whatever contact the pitch made with Seth, I heard a thud. I right. thought it hit something besides, you know, the bat, which would make a ping. Right. So, you know, therefore I thought it was a hit by pitch. They, uh, they felt like it hit the knob of the bat. And actually, when they looked at it, they got the call right. It actually, they felt like it did, you know, hit the knob of the bat. So in both cases, uh, you know, one play, um, you know, went our way after we challenged it, and the other one, uh, they were right. But we have the ability to review those plays, uh, and uh, it's good to have. Even though it slows the game down, we all understand that. But at the end of the day, we want to get the call right, and uh, you know, that's what it's used for. Coach, have you seen the guys respond in a? and sort of a toughness type of deal since um, that four-game losing streak the way you wanted to? That four-game losing streak is, is, is far away from us now. You know, we're not even talking about that now. Uh, you know, we've moved on from that. Uh, you know, like any team, we're going to go through spurts where, you know, we're not playing our best baseball. But the, the thing that's most important is, you know, we can't do anything about that, you know, now. You know, you can't do anything about, you know, that, that tough stretch. You know, all I know is is – we played a, a really good series uh, against Louisville, won a series on the road. We played a, a good ball game against Furman this week. And, 
and we've played two really good games uh, against Boston College so far. So, you know, we're swinging the bats well, we're pitching well, and hopefully we can continue to play good baseball on all fronts. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always great to get a series win in game two. And, you know, hopefully our guys will stay focused and, and understand that tomorrow's a big day too. You know, not just to come come show up and play a game. You know, let's, let's be ready to play because every one of these ACC games counts and we're all trying to – to do everything we can to put ourselves in the best position we can at the end of the season. So they all count. So hopefully we'll be ready to play. Coach, it's good to see uh, Wilkie uh, seeing the ball the way he is right now. It is. I mean, you know, Kyle's a guy that, that does such a good job for us uh, behind the plate. Our pitchers love throwing to him. He's a tough kid. And this is a guy that's called 18 innings a couple times this year already in double headers. So, you know, nobody questions his toughness. And for him to be able to give us good at-bats like he's been giving us, uh, you know, we're obviously very happy. That's, that's the difference. I mean, the difference in us scoring four to five runs a game throwing, and scoring seven to eight runs a game is what do we get in the second half of the order. And, you know, guys like Wilkie coming up with big at-bats for us right now is the difference. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.